Falcons are among the most recognisable and impressive of all birds of prey, and considering there are over 64 different species in the family Falconidae, they are also among the most variable in size and colour. The peregrine falcon is by far the best known and most beloved because of its tremendous speed and power in the air, although as a whole, large falcons are fast and dynamic predators in their own right. As well as the larger and more powerful species, there are also smaller, more agile ones such as the aplomado falcons and kestrels. These smaller falcons may seem tiny in comparison to the larger raptors in the world, but when it comes to diminutive size, there is one which is truly dwarfed by all. In this video, we are going to be examining a bird which is the smallest of all the falcon family, and also one of if not the smallest of all birds of prey in the world, the black-thighed falconet. Before we dive into the details of this amazing little bird however, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy this kind of content. Generally speaking, the largest species of falcon in the world is the mighty Jur falcon. These impressive birds are well known for their distinctive coloration and the ability to live in some of the coldest, driest places in the northern hemisphere. After the largest Jur falcons, the biggest falcon species in the world are typically the larger of the female Saker falcons, which are a close relative of the Jur falcons that live in more arid climates, typically in parts of Asia and the Middle East. There is another falcon species, however, which rivals even the larger Sakers and even some Jur falcons in size, and that is the largest individuals belonging to the species known as the Peel's peregrine. These exceptionally powerful and tenacious peregrines live on the coastlines of the Pacific Northwest, and the biggest females of this subspecies are by far the largest peregrines alive today on average. We will be returning to this species in a future video discussing the Peel's peregrine in more detail, as peregrines are by far my favourite, and this particular subspecies I have a real soft spot for. The largest, fastest and most powerful falcons in the world certainly are an awe-inspiring force to be reckoned with, but on the other end of the spectrum, falcons can also be very small. The Eurasian merlin, for example, is the smallest bird of prey to be found in Britain and Europe, with some individuals barely exceeding the size of a Eurasian blackbird. For those who don't know, the Eurasian blackbird is usually around 20 to 25 centimetres long from beak to tail, and weighs only around 100 grams. Although completely dwarfed by falcons like jurs and peregrines, the merlin, like virtually all other species of falcons, big and small, is a fast and tenacious hunter and sometimes will attack birds as big or even bigger than itself. As small as merlins are, however, they are far from the smallest in the falcon family, the smallest of those of which are less than half as big as some of the smaller merlins. Falconets can be found in Southeast Asia and are the smallest in the falconiforms family tree, and arguably the smallest of all of those is this, the black-thighed falconet. With a body length of 15 centimetres long from beak to tail, and a wingspan barely doubling that length, this truly is a diminutive raptor. Just the size of a sparrow, this tiny falconet rarely exceeds 55 grams in weight. Just for a bit of size comparison, here is a taxidermied black-thighed falconet compared to the largest of all hummingbirds, a family of birds which are notorious for being tiny. The giant hummingbird positioned to the right of the black-thighed falconet is the biggest of all hummingbirds, though as you can see by this following image, it's not exactly a large species itself. The wingspan and total body length of this hummingbird ever so slightly exceed those of a falconet, but its body is somewhat smaller and more lightly built. In the wild, the black-thighed falconet can be found exclusively in Southeast Asia, specifically places such as Myanmar, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore and Indonesia, as well as a few other locations. In the wild, its conservation status is least concern. 
This tiny raptor has some distinctive coloration to its plumage, including its dark blackish upper parts and a distinctive white eye stripe and reddish underside. It is quite remarkable how tiny this species is, and yet it still maintains the physical characteristics that make it much the same as its large falcon brethren. It still has the distinctive, powerful taloned feet and hooked beak of a classic bird of prey, or raptor, meaning it is still a fierce hunter for its size. Much like most other falcon species, the falconet is mostly an aerial predator, capturing most of its quarry in flight. Most of these flights are much shorter than those of its larger cousins, however, and are usually quick dashing attacks from a nearby perch. Even so, these birds are speedy and dynamic in flight, and are more than capable of catching small prey on the wing. Like many other species of smaller falcons and falconets, the black-thighed falconet has a taste mostly for invertebrates. Much of its diet consists of flying insects, including moths, butterflies, dragonflies, and in this case, a large carpenter bee. However, they are still quite tenacious hunters and will occasionally tackle larger prey, including smaller birds and lizards. Rather unusually for a bird of prey, the black-thighed falconer appears to be somewhat gregarious in its feeding behaviour, with feeding parties of up to 10 individuals recorded. In fact, social behaviour outside of hunting is not unusual for this species, as these birds can be found in loose pairs, and in some cases groups of 10 or more, in or outside of hunting. These adorable little birds will often stay close to one another, and will often strengthen each other's bonds through allopreening, for example, where each bird takes it in turns to preen one another, as you can see here. In the wild, the typical habitat of the black-thighed falconet is open wooded areas and forest. They can, however, also be found near areas of human settlement, as well as close to rivers and streams. This steep cliff face adjacent to a rainforest is a perfect example of a breeding location used by these falconets, but they will also nest in holes in trees made by woodpeckers. A falconet mother will typically lay two to five eggs in a single clutch within her nest, although the exact details about how long the eggs take to incubate, or the exact fledging age of wild chicks is actually unknown. After the breeding season of these falconets has ended, the parent birds may still use the nest hole used during the breeding season as a future roost site. There is little to no data about the population density of this species in the wild, although like many other tiny falconet species, the total numbers are probably under-recorded as a whole. Fortunately, however, as of current statistics, it seems that across their range, the population seems to be in the upper tens of thousands, and these birds appear to be quite tolerant of human disturbance. Let's hope the future for wild populations of these cute little birds remains bright. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about this impressive and cute little bird, which many have not heard of. There's plenty more videos like this to come, so until next time, I'll see you in the next one.